Okay, and welcome back. Yoshi Shimatsu joins us this hour. Yoshi, of course, is, is with us every Monday along with Dana Durnford, but it's been so hell on wheels lately that uh, we've postponed our, our Fukushima reports, and actually we've been drifting into more and more of the bigger picture, the political, international uh, geopolitics of this whole thing, and they're crucial. They're really important, and they are intrinsically tied to Fukushima, radiation, uh, our early demise, and many other things that we've been talking about for over well over five God. You know, it's, Yoshi, it's going to be six years. <laughs> it's coming up, yeah. The, uh, it's hard to believe that we've survived this long, uh, particularly myself, you know. And uh, one know. of the reasons I've been in yeah. New Zealand, I went down to New Zealand uh, to try to find the opposite of Japan, you know, places a little bit where I could eat fish, things like that, things I used to do six years ago. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, which I can't do anymore. Um well, uh, you know, look around at the seaweed and things, you know, it's sort of a longing for my homeland, which uh, is basically devastated beyond repair in my lifetime and probably in several, several, many lifetimes. No so doubt, no doubt. New Zealand was a, a refreshing break, but as soon as I landed, I was interrogated by customs. There's a thing called Line 4. I was put in the Line 4. There was a Russian lady there and some dodgy Chinese businessman, and then they said, wow, we have a whole lot of, on you. So... You know, I, I thank them. I really uh, appreciate the fact that you are a follower. We of have a whole com, lot you know? on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what they said. And said. then, you know, and said, there's a whole lot of stuff on you. And I said, yeah, well, I write a lot for rents and other shows. On, so. And, you know, in other places, Japan Times. And, you know, I have a whole background of writing. <laughs> well, you know, delving into controversies. So this is in New Zealand, right? Jeez. We're a cheap country. But then it turns out I had no idea what's going on. I no, absolutely. I said, I'm just shaking my head, man. You know, what possibly do they think I'm an anthrax terrorist or something? I mean, what possibly could I have done to offend this, you know, nice, peaceful? You know, You're one of the world's the great environmental the Shire, writers, the Shire. a true yeah, journalist. All that. And, and uh, what the hell is wrong with them? You know, I understand that well, the Zionists, no, no, they then control. Then I'm in Auckland, and I, yeah. you know, uh, I, I'm in Auckland. I'm, uh, you know, I, my hobby is to take photos of used bookstores and stop by, you know, because I used to do that uh, when I was in college, both at, you know, undergrad and then later at journalism school in Berkeley. I used to trade books, you know, because you come across all people throwing out books at yard sales, and then you can trade them at bookstores from some pretty good old volumes that would be otherwise neglected or, you know, sent to some incinerator somewhere. So that's a hobby of mine. So in Auckland, I'm at this bookstore, and I see this poster, you know, a protest against the USS Samson, the first visit of a U.S. unarmed U.S. naval vessel in the last 32 years. And I said... Here I am gobsmacked. No wonder they're harassing me. They must have thought I came here to organize a protest. How funny. You know? I guess, how uh, yeah. f- how this weird. Is, again, this is, they had a non-nuclear, New Zealand had a non-nuclear policy at the start yeah. of the 80s, okay? Yeah, yeah, they won't yeah. end, let in nuclear vessels, nuclear weapons. And that's when uh, the uh, uh, that Greenpeace vessel, Rainbow Warrior, was blown up for protesting uh-huh. uh, the Mururo, the French uh, atomic blast there in the... Pacific, uh, you know, gorgeous Pacific Hotel was blown apart. So that it all came out of that era, which I reported actually in the Japan Times. You know, uh, we had a report. One of my uh, my cameraman was down mm-hmm. there in Tahiti, you know, mm-hmm. to uh, go after the Mor- Moro thing. So I'm very intimately. I said, "Oh my gosh, you know, the timing is perfect. In fact, the protests will be later this week." You know, so I said, "Gosh, you know." It, it really looks like, you know, that's what I'm doing here. You know, it's coming down here with a bullhorn to raise hell about nuclear. <laughs> and it would make to- yeah. You know, <laughs> no, no, I came here to eat oh, some lamb and some fish, you know, uh, drink some beer without fear, drink some wine. You, you know, basically live without fear for a uh, while. Okay. At least they didn't waterboard you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I'm sure they were, well, I'm sure they were tempted. If it was, if I'd come in, the, you know, this, this week, they probably would have it. And I'm just glad they didn't blame me for setting off that second earthquake in Christchurch because yeah. I was through there too, you know. But anyway, the odd thing about New Zealand, uh, very quickly, is I thought it was perfectly safe. The furthest south you can get away from even Australia, which produces uranium, 
uh, you know, a lot of rainfall close to the Antarctic Sea, you know, the Antarctic and the Southern yeah, Sea, yeah. Southern Ocean. So, and then lo and behold, I'm at New Plymouth. Oh, radio, which is on the west coast facing Australia. I said, maybe it's a little dangerous here. I should be a little cautious. I'm walking along the shore. You know, so I take a measurement, 0 0.0, really low, okay? I said, no problem. There's offshore oil wells, nothing to worry about in this country. But then at Christchurch, I decided to take a day, uh, take a bus out to Sumner, which is a beach area. That's a place where you see the gigantic landslide in the, in the pictures coming out of Canterbury. Because, uh, you know, they, they built houses on these cliffs and they fell down, you know, like, uh -huh. uh, uh, 50 yards down. An amazing sight. But I was saying, and, then I said, and it's all sand out there. No rock in sandstone. In the volcano, you don't see much rock. There's no uranium in there. And I get double the reading. This is on the east coast facing the Pacific. And I said, what the heck? You know, and I take it for a kilometer, I'm taking reading. Yeah, I, I confirms every time. It's consistent 0 0.08. Right? Not dangerous yet. Let's say two thirds of the way up to the old safety level in Japan. So, but high for New Zealand. Then, you know, I had to go see the Antarctic Sea. You know, I've written articles for you that, that you posted on the, on the Arctic issue, the That's crack right. up of That's the, right. uh, of the uh, ice cap and, the yep. problem with the yep. polar yep. bears. Yep. It's all related to Dana Dernford's work, right? I mean, yep. this is the Arctic, sort of the, the Arctic and what we call the subarctic region, okay? This is all part of this Fukushima contamination area. So I said, I've never seen the Antarctic, never been close to it before, so this is my great chance. I go to Invercargill, way on the south, uh, Scottish. Uh, in, uh, it was uh, settled by Scottish people. And there's a place called Bluff, where the oysters come from, which is the southernmost point on the main, uh, you know, south side. There's two islands, north and south side, on the south side, the southernmost point. So I'm directly facing the Antarctic Sea. And then I take, I take, I whip out my, uh, dosimeter. And then we're going up to 0 0.14. This is above the Japan safety limit. And along the water, it doesn't make any sense. Because the water along Fukushima, the water itself is not that high, you know. But this has got hot water there, you know. I'm saying, what the heck is going now? True, this you can see the rock is pitch black, so it's from Gondwana land, the original continent. I know about this, like my work in Go in the Gobi Desert. That was part of Gondwana land too. The Indian, you know, the Indian Peninsula brought that up, smashed into that area. So Gondwana land rock, and there's some uranic rock there, but it could uh, not account for the high levels in the water. Okay, right, on, right, on right, the right. ground, yeah, but not in the water. So I wrote this article that appeared in, you know, grants that you ran, and I got a response from a radiation expert in New Zealand, he said, yeah, there's a lot of radiation in New Zealand now. There's three reactors, in the small research reactors in the country, and there's been leakage. But also, he's measured, he says, he just randomly measured, because it's the biggest importer of Japanese used cars. He oh says, no! Uh, oh, I didn't know that. High oh. radiation levels. Hot two cars. Toyotas, hot cars. Damn. Two Hondas and two Isuzus. High yeah. radiation level. So the used cars are coming from Japan, and they're yeah. hot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, I'm but I'm still. So I said, yeah, I rang with. But at the time when I was down there on the uh, uh, Antarctic Sea, looking at the sea, I'm thinking, man, is it Britain? You know, Britain. You know, is it France? Is it the U.S.? Is it, uh, no, you know, Britain's got Canada, the U.S. is a huge country, France also, France has got all these colonies. So they all have places to dis, you know, to sort of hide their nuclear waste. Which country doesn't have that kind of land? Yeah. Okay. Right. Which country sends big ships down to the Antarctic? Ships that have, you know, uh, Sea Shepherd have chased and Sea yep. Shepherd admitted. Yep. The fleet disappeared. The Japanese whaling fleet disappeared. We don't know where it is. We've lost, they've turned off their radios, okay? We don't know where they well, are. That's against uh, international convention at sea, isn't it? Oh yeah, a lot of the sea, every, every international convention in the world. To bring nuclear waste and dump it off Oh, you south think that you, do we have any proof of this? This is not good. Is the, or is this a... a what well, I'm saying is, look, look, I'm trying to say, I look, I, I take these measurements, it's hot on the South Island, on the east side, the southeast side, where it should not be hot. Got it. The other part facing Australia, which should be a little warmer, is not. So the baseline uh -huh. is very low. 
Uh-huh. How in the hell does the water get radioactive uh-huh. in New Zealand down there unless someone's dumping? And, you know, our Antarctic Sea is huge, okay? It's, it's uh, you know, it's a thousand kilometers across, you know, you know it's 800 miles across or more, a thousand miles. It's a vast sea, you know, going in circles. How do you contaminate anything that big? You know, where would the source of that much right. plutonium and uranium be? Right. Who goes down there can to deliver? And you've seen the back of these whaling vessels, right? They're like ramps with forklifts. Yes, that yes. Can pull up, yeah, yeah. You know, and winches that can pull up whales. Yep. Just as easy to use a winch and a forklift oh, yeah. to push down a yep. container yep. of plutonium. God. So now we know why they go off, you know, why they go radio dead. If they're hunting whales, they have to be in communication with each other, right? The ships have to coordinate. How can they just go dead for two weeks? And, and Sea Shepherd can't find them down there. What are they doing? Well, I'll tell you what they're doing. It's obviously the Japanese are doing the same thing they did to the Japan Trench, the Philippine Trench, uh, that is contaminating the U.S. They're dumping, you know, high level contain- oh, containers. Oh, no, high level this is disgusting. Into the Antarctic. This is it's really It's going to kill disgusting. all the penguins. I mean, I hate to say it. I wish the environmental movement, World Wildlife Fund, would get off their butts and investigate. Now all the penguins are doomed, the seals down there, everything. You know, the, this is mass environmental destruction. And you got to understand the irony for me. Here I come to the other end of the planet to get away from Fukushima, and here it is like slapping me in the head like a whale's tail, like Moby Dick's tail, okay? Slapping <laughs> me in the head here, okay? Of all yeah. places, right? I'm at the end of the earth, at land's end. And here I'm facing this same monster, okay? I can't get away from it, right? And New Zealand, nice, peaceful country. Unreal. Sheep so they, farms, they, they, dairy farms. These people uh, who said we have a, a file on you or a lot of stuff on you, did they have it, like, <laughs> stacked in front of them, or was it just a, a verbal No, no, thing? no, it was right online. They were just reading everything. You know, they just, you know, they had all kinds. They were asking me a lot of questions. They had all the facts and details. And, <laughs> yeah. Could you see the areas, screen? Could you see the screen? No, 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 no. But uh-huh. you could see, you know, the guy was uh, nearly smiling that they had a good, you know, so much on So they're obviously uh-huh. devoted fans of Rants.com. Ah, uh, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and anyway, so uh, as a result, I, you know, I felt a little bit, you know, less than uh, less than hospitably invited there, you know. And I so would think. I just said, well. Yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed the meat pies. I've really enjoyed the scenery. It's a great country. You know, I'd love to live anywhere in that country except, you know, uh, facing the Fukushima radioactivity, which hopefully won't increase, but I'm sure it will as it bubbles up over time. Wow. And uh, and also I needed to write that article. So I felt, well, it's best, I, you know, I don't participate in the protest. Let them know this is not my intention to raise hell down there, you know. Uh, the U.S. Navy, well, that's their problem, you know, uh, and um, they've got to stop that. It's not, you know, I can't, I can't do a hell of a lot about that. Well, and what, what right kind of container it. is not going to rust over time? Oh, they all will. They well, all that's what happened, yeah. well, that's what happened in Somalia. The Italian mafia in the 80s, after Italy voted to go non-nuclear after Chernobyl, they dumped shiploads off Somalia, created a hot spot, washed up in the 2004 tsunami. They found it. Soon as uh, the government of Somalia started to realize what happened. Uh, that's when all the guns came in, you know, from London. Shut them all up. The, you know, new firearms. Yeah. Yeah. Somali pirates problem started. The government was displaced, you know, dislodged, and the country was divided, so no mm-hmm. word would get out. That's yeah. why people have heard. There's no I'll be damned. You, I didn't you know that. Done nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you have done nothing. Yeah, there's like ships, whole ships were sunk there. They so let me ask you. Scandinavian ships. You know, let me ask you another with, question. Like, oh, one, yeah. All right, here's a question: yeah. Isn't there isn't there some place on this planet that we could dig and create an enormous repository for the world's nuclear waste that would be safe, relatively well, speaking? It's better. You don't put it in the ocean. That's for damn sure. No, 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 no. no Germany's got these salt mines. That they're doing it in these old, these huge underground salt mines, yeah. which are very like solid, really solid. So Germany's doing it; uh, they're responsibly taking care of their own. Uh, Australia is talking about 
uh, doing it because they're uranium exporters, so they have to uh, they get rid of their own waste so they can. And they're talking about bringing, uh, you know, basically selling storage space to other countries, so it won't be cheap. Cause yeah. It's got to be cool. Uh, the WIPP down in New Mexico, obviously that wasn't well done. It's, it's in bedrock down there, but there was an accident, a fire down there. So, uh. And for Japan, the problem is this wastewater. We There's no reason. We store water in tunnels in Japan. There's massive tunnels under some of the major rivers. Really? Like these are, these are no. man, man-made tunnels? Man, gigantic ones, yeah. They're the biggest tunnels. You can uh, take uh, two or three trains through there. And we store water in case of drought because we were, did were have they, water shortages. Were they back designed there. for that purpose? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have water shortage, uh-huh. severe water shortage in the uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we, whenever there's a massive storm, we filter the water and send it down in these tunnels. So, but you know, the Japanese government hasn't done that because there's been the deliberate policy mm-hmm. not to do that. You know, they want to contaminate the United States and you know, in Canada, punish the United States for what happened. In World War Two, you know, well, that's so obvious. There's, there's a deliberate criminal war, criminal mentality behind not putting the water in the tunnels because we have the world's greatest machines. Mitsubishi makes these fantastic ones used all around the world. You know? What what kind of are machines they are they? I'm sorry, what? Mitsubishi. They're these gigantic, sort of these round diamond uh, diamond edge blades. You know? Oh, for uh, the tunnel borers. Okay. Make. Yeah. yeah, they can just easily tunnel through rock, the hardest rock. It's yeah. amazing, these machines, how fast they work. Uh, but they won't do that because they want to basically destroy the American people. I mean, I don't know how to put it any other way. And that's an issue I think Donald Trump's got to look at. You know, before I said I think the problem of the relationship with Mexico is a major national security issue, probably the major because there's, you know, territorial claims, cultural right. claims. Uh, there's a lot of hotheads on the Mexican side. Right. And, you know, let's face it, there's a lot of rednecks on the American side. So it's a recipe for disaster, you know. But, you know, immediately, you now that's sort of a longer-term issue, but the immediate problem Trump's got to face is this undeclared nuclear war by the Shinzo Abe regime against the United States, refusing to store their nuclear waste, their nuclear water, and dumping in the Pacific. You know, it's a deliberate... Refuse. Basically, they could have done it. They have the means to do that, and and they basically sabotaged. They came up with nonsensical, you know, uh, not solutions. What do you call it? Nonsensical delay tactics. You know, of trying to filter why all sure. that. They knew all that would fail. Sure. They have done nothing, and at this point, we got to say it's deliberate. You know, they've had six, five and a half years to do. Okay, that, so and everything has failed. F- Fukushima emissions at this point. Uh, yeah you feel are deliberate. Not the, no, not the actual yeah, mechanism, yeah, they, they but the drain, fact that they yeah, haven't... They drained the most that's high-level right. ra- radioactive tanks have been drained. That, oh, they're it's empty. Be, sure, but, yeah. I, yeah. I don't they, believe there's anything in there. Tanks. So yeah. that, therefore, you know, and they did it quietly. They, it was a, they, they even sort of hinted at it after it was done. So they didn't warn the world. They didn't say anything. You know, the IAEA, they control. Head of it is Japanese. Yeah, you know? they're bribing people off there. So, so, so there's. It has to be. You know, at a certain point, it's no longer because you know, it's like you laugh about. We're six years on. We're five and a half years on. You know, there's a certain point when chaos and all. You know, because there's been these quiet interludes. There's been plenty of time now. There's plenty of policy. There's been a lot of planning, and there is absolutely no intention to contain the water. And this is what I think. Remember. Like, right after the crisis, when we first, you know, I first came on your station, I said, we have to contain the radioactivity. Absolutely. You know? you it, is, it is wrong to send this out to the rest of the world. We have to contain it. Once we let it out, we can't get it back in. Containment is the only thing we can do. It's the only way to, you know, prevent this disaster from going global. And it's our only way, actually, to deal with this disaster, to, you know, develop the technologies to extract the nucleotides and so on. So, so that was clear from the beginning. You know, I'm no scientific genius. You know, I didn't graduate in physics. I went, I was in chemistry. But it's obviously very simple common sense they haven't done. And so I think Trump, you know, Shinzo Abe is barging in on Trump you know, on Thursday. He's, he's, st- he's doing a New York stopover on his way to Peru. He's, okay? he's, he's forcing yeah. his way into Trump's schedule, isn't he? 
He is, yeah, he, and this is outrageous because Trump yeah. doesn't have a cabinet yet. No. You know, Trump's main issue now is listening to American, his supporters, American people. Well, all he's doing is saying, go home and say, I was the first head of people. I was the first head of state to meet with the president-elect of the United States. Abe's exactly. doing it as an ego trip. It's an ego trip, but he'll tell the Japanese people. Well, Trump nodded when I said uh, <laughs> you should support the TPP. Yeah, Trump yeah. smiled when I said you had to keep the U.S.-Japan alliance. You know, and then uh, Abe's already said, "Well, we don't want to be." Uh, Trump says, "Why don't you go develop your own nuclear bomb?" Because Trump knows darn well Japan's had a secret nuclear bomb program there in Fukushima. Uh-huh. So do it openly where at least we can watch you and monitor this thing. And Abe doesn't want to do that. Of course he doesn't want an open nuclear program because he needs plausible deniability because I've always argued the nuclear bomb has nothing to do with deterring China or the North Koreans. It's always been aimed at the Americans. So you have to deny uh-huh. the existence of a program uh-huh. so you can have a false flag attack against America. Okay. Yeah. And we are, and this is no longer false flag. They are. Atta- I mean, America is under massive attack. Oh, you know, the whole oh. country has been uh, irradiated, basically. I mean, you know, every rain, every time it rains, is raining from Fukushima. You know, so so Trump, I think, needs to put Abe in his place and just tell him, no, I'm busy putting together my cabinet. I understand your positions. I don't agree with them, so there's no point in us discussing it. You know. And uh, I'll put you on my schedule when I've got time and when I'm president. I mean, that's what Trump should be saying. I right? agree. We, well, you wrote up a nice piece, and uh, we put it up at Rents, and yeah. we also had it put on uh, Trump's yeah. Facebook page, so they'll see it. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, uh, I mean, Pence may go out to the airport and meet him and say, we're sorry, we're busy, thank you uh, for your concern, goodbye. You know, I mean, that's it. But... Very, very clearly, Shinzo Abe is in the other bo- side of the tennis net there, and the other, you know, other side of the ball court. Supports yeah. TPP, yeah, wants sure to keep exporting Toyotas yeah. to America, yeah, wants to keep crushing GM and Ford, yeah. Uh, you know, and Ford is all being stanched there. Yeah, I mean, they're not selling cars in uh, Japan or Asia because, you know, the Japanese have basically... Uh, you know, basically can control the market through financing and every yeah. other thing, trade rules, yeah. all that. So sure. the American, you know, industry is being crushed in Japan. Uh, they're being invaded by the Japanese who have free reign. You know, Toyota has been given like the keys to <laughs> keys to the town, right? The, you know, the golden keys to every mm-hmm. town in America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's unfair trade. Okay, and then oh, it's it's uh, you not have the it's bases. not good. They there's no, there's, the, we have to take a break, Yoshi. But there there really is no common ground between these two men at all, and uh, I, I, I don't see differences. It's to it's the max. really silly. Hold on a second, we'll come right back. Yeah. All right, we're back with Yoshi, and let me tell you, uh, I don't know anyone listening out there at any time. During the campaign, did I hear Fukushima or radiation mentioned? I don't think anyone mentioned it. No accident. No coincidence. I don't think they touched it. They wouldn't, they want nothing to do with it. Nothing. Don't ask, don't tell. Don't worry, be happy. Well, I'm not, I'm not too depressed about it because at least Trump came out against this uh, climate theory and uh, realizes that right now, you know, the use of, uh, carbon-based fuels is not the worst thing in the world right now for the planet. You know, that Absolutely not. Problems, so. No, no. So he's obviously uh, clued there, and that policy can help spring this whole nuclear issue. And uh, I, think, I think we should be agitating for uh, the next head of the Department of Energy instead of this guy Stephen Chu or Ernest Monitz, you know, follow the money Monitz to... Uh, uh, there's a nuclear physicist, you know, working with DOE. Yeah. We need someone from outside. So I think uh, we should try to get a nomination for Arnie Gunderson. Arnie Gunderson should be the head of the Department of Energy. You know, he's taking a principled stand. He knows his stuff. He knows people in the industry. You know, over at the Japan Embassy, put in someone like Richard Wilcox, environmentalist, has been steadily a uh, nuclear foe. I'd rather and see... Uh, the issues there in Japan. Yeah, so I'd rather see... we need... I'd rather see yeah. Yoichi Shimatsu. Well, I, I should be an out, outside critic, I su- uh, suppose, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm, you know uh, but anyway, yeah, whatever. 
Okay? I mean, there have to be people at the nuclear desk in state, the proliferation desk, who understand right. why we right. have to go not nuclear. Right, right, I mean, right. There needs to be a change of policy, and we should be pushing for that. Because, you know, we sure as hell have done a lot of the uh, homework for the Trump people, you know, when they were in a tight spot with this Kazir Khan and all that, you know. So we've sort of hauled their wood and, you know, uh, fetched their pails of water. You got it. I think they, they do owe something for the people who, you know, held out against this climate you know, bogus, the bogus aspect. You know, I, I've always said I'm not entirely against climate theory. I do think there's too much carbon, but it's not like a pr- uh, super pressing issue as, as they, they, they present as a one, sort of the one horse issue. No, it's, it's not, not a crisis. You know, no. The environment is a very complicated issue. Lots of threats out there. And we've got to take each as they are, you know, each one as they are and not try to create an ideology. You know, it's a very you know that, practical uh, business. Yoshi, you know, the, the methane hydrate issue may be yeah. more important than carbon. That's a big deal. And it's coming up in the yeah. Arctic now and it's, yeah. it's coming it's up. It's bubbling out the ground. You know, yeah. And there were a lot of bio, various organisms that we haven't seen might have killed past species. You know? So we don't know what's coming out of the ground now that nuclear has destroyed the Arctic region, opened the ozone hole. But the main thing is we got to contain the nuclear bandits out of Japan, the Fukushima gang and Abe. They've got to go. They've got to be put out. And Trump's just got to give them a schedule. Let's say, you know, we're giving you two and a half years to address this, okay? And this is what we want to see every month and just lay it out to them and say, you're going to do this. Uh, we don't care about money because you can just cut your foreign aid and whatever else. You can cut the size of your government. The Bank of Japan has been throwing money away. Just tell them to pump up the money, okay? You're going to do this. I don't think it's asking. This is no longer, you know, when, when someone's got a gun to your head, just shot your daughter, okay? Do you ask them, please? No, you take the gun away and you knock them to the ground and say, you know, you're going to walk over there to the jail or I'm going to shoot you right here. I mean, this has got to be like, you know, we can't, there's no more gentlemanliness in this. You know, the, I mean, America is being destroyed. Okay, American people, they well, are, we their, health, see, you know, their children are being this destroyed. Audience, so this audience treat may understand hmm? that. This audience may understand that, but yeah. 99% of Americans have no idea, Yoshi, none. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'm wondering I mean, if Abe is... A, he's talking about the wall, okay? The wall along the Mexican border. Well, there's no way you're going to put up a wall across the Pacific, okay? So you've got to get damn, Japan damn to right. stop this. I wonder you know, if Abe is... You is say, you're going to stop this on your territory. You're going to do it. start doing it now, this yeah. hour, and this is how you're going to do it, and we're giving you a timetable, and if you fail, you know... We got a lot of American troops. What a great in the uh, leadership in around Japan. achievement that would so be. So the next government will come in. If we have to shepherd in another government who will do it, we will. I mean, it's got to be like that. This is survival. American survival at stake. Six years is way too long. This has been atro- an atrocity. You know? And, you know, the cancer cases, population crime. Well, now we have, saying, we have you know? cancer cells floating around in the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic, by the yeah. way, that are, that are yeah. actually infectious. This is unheard of. It's yeah. unprecedented. Yeah. No one's talking about it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's relatively... Yeah, it's combined to the, uh, the bivalve community, the mollusks and uh, clams, but it doesn't matter because it's floating in the water. Now, who's to tell me that it's not contagious to human beings? Who's done the research? The Nobody. Point. Exactly. There's no research. Absolutely not. I mean, if it's a cell, it should be able to attack, especially if you're a surfer or something like that, or a sailor. Absolutely. The water. Of course. You're just sucking it in. It's in your lungs. You know, it's perfect uh, breeding ground for viruses, bacteria, whatever. So yeah. why shouldn't a cancerous cell implant there? So, this is, I mean, we're talking about the, this is the worst threat to the United States. And if it's not contained like in the Trump administration, there will be no United States. You know, just hand over the keys to Mexico. Let them take over, okay? I mean, I hate to put it that way. You know, maybe we shouldn't have a wall. Maybe, you know, we need all the Mexicans just to take over all of North America because they can keep <laughs> pumping people out of the yeah. South. No, no joke, out of South America. No, that's your just talking demographics. Here, I got give, it. Give them everything because you've just lost the country because all your people are dead, okay? 
they're dying or dead or dying. And it's, it's going to be Mexicans that are going to be wheelchairing them around and giving them the last right. Yeah. So, so unless we deal with Fukushima, everything else is lost. It's basically a joke. The whole country, the population. And the what is no what is the Abe regime doing about Fukushima right now? What new bold scientific out. initiatives yeah. are they pushing? Pump it out. They're, they're just draining the tanks. I mean, there's just a huge rainstorm two days ago. Another rainstorm, God. more being pushed out. He's doing nothing scientifically. Just you know, He's doing the same science he did, right? He sends these whaling ships down to the Antarctic to do scientific studies. What science have they ever used on the, on the, great, the humpbacks that are keeling off the California coast? Right. Not one bit, not one grant, not one scientist coming over. There's no science. You know, this is a massacre. You know, you don't need science for a massacre. So, so I, I hope Trump begins to wake up and see the immediacy of this threat and that the clock is ticking down, you know, that they don't have time. He's got to have My a science advisor. Realize. He has to have talked about this. He has to have. But they don't want to go I'm public sure with it. Knows. Sure. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the energy industry has got to make its choices. If he gives them a bailout on oil and gas, They've got to give something in back, and that's going to be nuclear. We got to end the nuclear regime. You know, it's useless form of power. Everyone knows how inefficient, expensive, what a waste it is. It has never been and, profitable uh, for anybody is, anywhere. Yeah. Is there any way that yeah. we could actually shut these, decommission these plants down? Which, by the way, you have to maintain them at a great expense forever. Yeah. Is there yeah. any way we yeah. could shut them all down and truly make the world a yeah. better place? Yes. Well, yes. most most of that uranium came from Canada, so Canada's going to have to open up some territory for a repository. That's why, you know, why why do we all well, have there to look go. at the United States? There you go. Yeah, yeah, look at the guy who sold you the uranium very happily. Take the money, right? <laughs> you know, you tell him take it back now. I mean, you know, uh, you know, make America great again. You know, America can push its way around. Said you sold us this bad goods, you take it back, and they said, well. You know, where's the contract? We said there is no contract. You know, the contract begins with the first shipment that goes out. This is how Americans got to learn to talk again, you know? We're not taking right. nonsense. We're going to save the American Well, that's people. what Trump said. And, he said uh, Americans have to learn to be winners again. Winners. Exactly. Exactly. You can't just get pushed around by every wimpy bureaucrat in the world, in Europe, uh, you know, uh, the British Empire, or wherever, you know, the Japan, right. China. You can't just be pushed around. you got to stand up. And survive. And uh, as I said, by the end of the Trump four years or eight years, there may not be an American people left to defend anymore. I mean, you know, let's. This we is this sounds uh, this here. this sounds this sounds almost like science fiction. But if people have been listening to us for any of these years, we've been doing this, they'll know that this is not a joke. That the, the, the North Pacific is dead. Nothing can yeah. be eaten out of the North Pacific. Do you know how much food that has been taken out of the general food stuffs yeah. and food yeah. supplies? Yeah. Huge, yeah. almost incalculably huge. It's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. I mean, seven days ago, I was down or eight days ago, I was down in the Antarctic Sea, you know, on the Southern Ocean. And it's radioactive down there. I mean, forget it. I mean, there is no hope anymore. New Zealand is not a hope. Where to, folks? Yeah, we're two folks. All the other people are radioactive. Yeah. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> I mean, there's nowhere to hide. we got to face this monster now. And it's just wimpy little Japan. you got to say, a big America, the tough guys, the U.S. Marine Corps, just say, hey, do it. You're not going to kill us. You know, it was sort of, what do you call that sociopathic uh, uh, passive aggression? We will not take your passive aggression anymore. Uh, okay? Yeah. Okay, we're tough guys. We're gonna, you know, we did it before. We beat you before. We can do it again easily. Now you quit trying to stab us. In, well, not even in the back. You know, I mean, what's amazing? Obama just accepted this because we know what Obama thinks to the majority of American people. You know, they're a bunch to get rid of. And what Hillary Clinton said it already, right? You got it. She's already. I mean, she. She. These are people she wants to wipe off the blackboard. Okay, and Fukushima was one of the instruments for doing that. They love Japan, those guys, for doing this, yeah? for wiping out the American population. Yeah? <laughs> so, I mean, I, these, these are brutal truths. 
you know, these are just they're brutal, terrible truths. Honesty. And we're not yeah, seeing. Yeah, look it in the face. Yeah. Yeah. We tell Mitsubishi and IHI, just say, get those tunnelers out there. You're going to store this stuff. And uh, if you have to evacuate most of Japan, tough crap. You know, that was your decision, not ours. Yeah. You know? Well, they, tell me you know, what the latest I, I is on that. I wanted you to get nuclear, but you, you, you did it on your own volition. Uh, of course uh, they did. We offered it to a lot of other countries who That's said no. Right. You took it so eagerly, right? That's right. What What is going on with Tokyo, as far as you know? They're still finding hot spots all over the place, and they're just not talking course, about it, right? That's what this this business of moving the rowing venue, I've said this on your show, and I sent stuff, and you know, I made some video about it, which will come out this summer. The, basically, the island, the rowing venue is in sort of this uh, channel in the middle of this huge island, but the island was made from ash from Fukushima. All the plastic and wood from Fukushima was burned at this incinerator plant right there, and outside the plant they built this huge island. Now, right down the middle of that island is a rowing venue. It is like a microwave oven for the athletes there. Equestrian is supposed to be, a horse is supposed to be there. Mountain biking is supposed to be there. So the governor of Tokyo says, we've got to move it. She just says, it's expensive. Well, it's not expensive because the thing's already been built. You know? It's not that expensive. But she won't dare come out and say because the place is hot as a microwave oven. People will be dying. Rowers will be dying out there. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Well, they want to know, take the, the, the bait. You know what they want to do? It's a all... shaped thing, so it's the worst possible shape uh, oh, you of can course. have. Oh, of course. Yeah, water. vector right to the bottom. Did uh, yeah. did you know they want to put, there's talk, I think it was Abe, they want to put the baseball venue inside yeah, the former talk. Fukushima exclusion zone. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big sports center. Uh, yeah, there's several of them, yeah. There. There's a big training camp where the workers use Yes. To. Absolutely. They're insane. I mean, in other words, you know, you know, I hate to use the G word. Man is a genocidal maniac, you know? And he knows baseball. How many countries play baseball? Oh. The United States? Yeah. Right? Taiwan? Canada? Half a dozen. A little bit in Australia, not much. You know, there's not a lot of countries that play baseball. No. What better thing than to microwave the American national sports? <laughs> Kill the best players in America. Oh, I mean, man. this is a huge achievement, you know? Yeah. This is a huge achievement. Yeah? I mean, I don't think any world leader in history is a devious and diabolical. See, what, what people don't understand, Yoshi, is... I've been is... warning people all along. I've been warning people. that I've known him from the subway gas thing. He was yeah. involved. He's involved weapon shit. I just told, you know, I told everybody. I've been fighting with this guy more than 25 years. He's one of the criminals we should have put away, uh, but there were so many other bigger guys than him that, you know, bigger yeah. fish that we had to put away, and they were fighting back to the nail, you know. Yeah. And, you know, my boss was murdered there in Tokyo. So, so well, he was a, a fish that got away, and he's grown up to be quite a big whale himself. You know, so. Wow. So it, he's vicious. These are genocide. These are people with genocide in their mind. You know? Do people understand that there are a lot of Japanese who still harbor hatred toward the U.S.? Do yeah, Americans Japanese understand, understand that? that? Yeah, they, they, they Americans. That Americans don't get fascist. it. Yeah. They don't get it. We don't use the word fascist lightly in Japan. When Japanese people said this guy's a fascist, we mean it. I mean, he's, he's over-the-top crazy militarist, wants to kill every American and Chinese and Filipino in sight. Yeah? Right. I mean, these, these, these are maniacs. You know, they are you know, the night of the living dead zombie maniacs. You know? And they're proud of it. You know, they're proud of it. They're, they're not ashamed of it. They're darn wow. proud of it. That's why Abe is so bold. He's going to come up and challenge Trump, and then he's going to pull the plunger. You know? You understand? He's going to go up and say, well, I warned Trump. See, at first he'll say, well, Trump sort of nodded. But what, later he'll say, I warned Trump, and Trump didn't listen to me. And mm -hmm. America is a bunch of sick few handful of survivors is nothing left. Yeah? There's so much radioactivity, radioactivity piling up on the west coast of the U.S., and it has been for five and a half years almost. I can't even imagine the concentrations. It used to be in, in cells and in, in areas, yeah. but now it's got to be everywhere. Just got to be. Oh, absolutely. Dogs and cats are dying like flies. There. Where are you reading that? No doubt about it. Either. All Where over. Uh, I have friends there. All their pets are dead. Yeah, all the pets have died. You know, and it's, pets are dying off like crazy. 
Yeah, I didn't not see coyotes why I didn't hear off. this. If you run coyotes across a news story, there's no more rabbits left on the golf courses, so the coyotes are attacking dogs. All the rabbits are dead. Wow. I don't. I didn't know that. Even the crows are diminishing. No, they're tough surviving. They're diminishing. If so, anyone uh, listening, you know, I dread going back to California. Stories, I, I just dread them. going back there. It's like a, a killing field. Yeah. You know? And people are in denial. You know, they know what's going on, but they're in denial. Oh, they you know, California. Yeah, of course. Oh, they want they want to secede now. You see that? They because of Trump, well, they want in, uh, to secede along yeah. with Oregon. <laughs> Where are they going to go? This, this is sort they're going to go yeah. west, young man. This right? The the Clinton brainwashing campaign. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. what she did. Yeah. It is. It's it's one yeah. of the biggest mind control exercises you'll ever see. It's she true. had a bunch of experts in there with her. You know, from yeah. all those weird programs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, these people are brainwashed. I mean, they're completely mind controlled. You know, they don't know what they're doing. They lost all reason. They're running around a mock. They're running a mock. It's not a political movement. You know, it's a bunch of zombies running a mock. Night of the Living Dead. That's what is puzzling the people in the Trump movement. They can't figure it out. Yeah. Right. Well, there's no logic. There's no. You can't apply logic to it and come away with anything. It's, yeah. No. You can't argue with these people. They're running around like crazy, going. You know, just they're just nuts. Yeah. It's a mass. Hysteria induced by this intense. It, it, uh, it's it's almost like went to these meetings and things like that. They've been really put under. Yeah. A lot of them act like they they're suffering uh, incipient dementia. Uh, something's Absolutely. going on. They yeah. even they, they even admit that. Yeah. You know, they feel like you know. I think Lady Gaga and Miley Cyrus said something like this. You know, they feel like they've gone nuts. You know, they can't handle it anymore. You know, their heads are blowing apart. Yeah. So well, we know what's control. causing that. See, no, we know what's causing that. And it, it, it's just not going <laughs> to... No one's going to do anything. No, she, I'm telling you, it's sad. All we can do is what we're doing and hope that the people listening get it and take steps to protect themselves. And that bio superfood that I have at the top of the homepage up there, yeah. look for that banner. That is the only yeah, thing right. on the planet that has been proven to help you deal yeah. with radioactive exposure. It's not a joke, and they're, they're yeah. wonderful sponsors. Yeah. I take it every day, have for f six yeah. years almost. Please take it. Please go look at it. Yeah. Read it. Bio well, Superfood. That, we know that from nature, yeah. We know that from nature. It works. The algae. The algae. Uh, Dr. Kiriak was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's your yeah. flesh. It's like how your body, you know, your That's fluid. right. Yeah. They're That's powerful. Right. The bio accumulates the radioactivity and take it out of your body, yeah. Exactly. That's known, yeah. So, That's the only yeah, thing. Like now, help, yeah. today we get a story yeah. that the the uh, I guess the Ukrainians are doing it. I don't know who's doing it, but they built an enormous uh, new cover for the blown reactor at Chernobyl. And they're 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 moving this yeah. new cover uh, over the top of the blown reactor. I don't know what they think they're going to yeah. do with it, but they're at least trying to do well, something. Well, they just have what to contain the, the fallout. You know, it's yeah. pretty serious in Europe. You know, so. What are they the doing in? Uh, what have they done yeah, in Fukushima? Japan, they, 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 they took the, the cover off of new, number one because they're trying they to take open the it right up. They opened it up, and they uh, yeah. have done nothing. They built an ice well, wall. Well, no, the thing is, they got away with dumping their their uh, nuclear garbage in the NRC below New Zealand. They they care less about New Zealand. You know, they'll just sacrifice New Zealand. So Australia this is that. what oh, the yeah. whaling fleets are making their money by doing now, huh? Yeah, I mean, I hate to say this, you know, because I, I try to avoid racism at all costs, but they look at New Zealand and Australia, a bunch of white people, you know, on the other side of the war. Yeah. On the other side, just send the nuclear ties down and kill them all, you know. I mean, this is, you know, it is cruel. It is hard. It's a hard thing to accept that your own people think like this, you know, or some of them do. Yes. Yeah, you know, But all the more that, you know, someone like me speaks out against them, you know, because it's impolite for any white person to say such things. And I and I say such things about all minorities, you know. Quit this carping about Trump, you know. I mean, you had your shot. I'm really kind of disgusted that the Asians in America who are in the political, you know, voting and political, 98% of them went with Clinton. I said, this is... I, I don't get that. The, no, the, the Asian mind is supposed to be the most intelligent mind uh, per capita yeah, on the planet. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, where's well, common Japan, sense? Where's wisdom? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's yes. common sense. They might be smart, but they got no common sense. No, you know, no wisdom. Problem, none. Right in Japan. No. no. None, none. So I just, I said, you know, well, first, first time in my life, I'm a two percenter, yeah. 
It's ridiculous, you know? <laughs> Come on, folks. Wake up. <clears throat> Wake up, folks. Jeez, you know? What happens, you know? Yoshi, the great tragedy of yeah? Japan, I mean, I look at the young people, young men, young they're, women, they're, they're just beat. and they're, they're all going to die. And there used to be uh, Asian, Asian dating services, and, and I was thinking, how many Asian girls just tried to get out of there, out of Japan, out of Cambodia, out of Vietnam, whatever, just to get out, out of Taiwan? Many they, don't, because, no, they got parents. As long as their parents are alive, they, they won't leave if their them. parents die, they can leave. Yeah, they won't leave their parents. The parents say, you have to stay here because this is our home. I want that's to right. here. No, the that's right. Grandma will take her, her daughter with her. She's going to take the uh, grandchild with her, and that's going to be the end of the family. This is like myopia. You know, it's like, I, like, I, like I say, there's no common sense. Okay, there's only these traditional values. There's a lot of into you know uh, what do you call it? learning for example. Well, it's just there's stuck, absolutely no it's stuck in the past to look across the street and realize no. the end is here. Yeah? They're stuck in the past. I I don't I don't know. Uh, you have been singular in speaking to this, bringing it out. No one else is doing yeah. this, and it's a damn shame that you're not being published all over Japan. At least giving the people an well, opportunity to get the truth, but they don't have it. Well, quietly, they'll say, you're right. You know, you're right, quietly. Oh, of but no course. one's going to shout out on the street, yeah, this guy's right, let's go out and protest, you know, that's over. No. What can you do? You know? Well, we got the it's Olympics coming, day. Yoshi, that's don't sure. don't worry, be happy, the Olympics are coming, don't worry. I no. know what's happening. Uh, the Japanese really don't like that idea at all. They just hate the Olympics, so it's... That's one good thing. At well, least, good, good at least there's resistance to the Olympics. Yeah. yeah so. All right, my oh, friend. Oh, my gosh. What a, what yeah, a world. Yeah, whatever you do, if you're a baseball player, don't let your national sport be destroyed in Fukushima. That would be an atrocity for the United States. That would be the shame. I mean, that would be just shameful. And Donald Trump, he wears a baseball cap, right? He, yes, he's he does. Got to understand. That would be the ultimate shame for America. Well, we need to, to I hope that they read the, the article that, that you Fukushima. sent. Uh, I put that article on the Trump board. Uh, it's up on mine, and yeah. and thank you yeah. uh, for writing. Keep writing, and we'll keep. I'll uh, keep pushing it at him. Yeah, that's all we can do. Yeah, yeah. He can yeah. make a big political well, issue we out of this. Luck. Yeah, he needs the luck. We wish him luck, and he needs it. And Indeed. Yeah, now he's being nice now, but uh, let's see him. I can't wait to see him get tough. Actually, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, let's hope. Say, the world needs some tough. It's tough love, right? If he Time. loves humanity, get tough on the fool, foolishness of humanity. you got to get tough. tough Amen. Love. That's Amen. The you got it. All right. All right. Okay, Yoshi, talk to you All next right. time. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. Right. Yoshi is uh, truly a, a treasure of a human being. He's amazing, as you know. All right? Okay, that's our Monday program for you.